Hi and welcome back to Leslie Craft. Um, today I'm going to show you how I am packaging up these two ones for a swap in Divas. This is still ongoing. I just getting it. I've just done it already beforehand, so I know it's all ready to go. Because I am really bad at joining and not completing. So I've got so much other stuff going on. So. That is my new thing. Is if I want to join in a swap, I do straight away. So I know that it's all done, all packaged, all ready to go. But even that doesn't guarantee going out on time. I am really, really bad. So first of all, I have just punched out some tags. And these tags, this tag shape is from Stampin' Up. It's no longer available, I don't think and I'm just going to grab some ribbon and again this ribbon is from Stampin' Up um, I'm just going through what I have not necessarily I'm trying really hard not to buy anything um, because like most crafters we have loads and loads of stuff to do so I'm also thinking of doing a video or a series of videos of how to make stuff ahead of time so we have it on hand so it's um, so we can you know don't have to worry about about it I've just put a brad in there as well just to show it off and I'm also going to just stick it down stop it moving so so I'm not too sure if I'm going to be adding anything else to this package if I do I will pop on and show you the finished of how I'm sending it and everything else so I'm going to do this on both tags I started oh, I'm totally out of frame. Let's see there you go. I started it and then I suddenly realised that um I haven't got half the things I wanted to show you, so this is the second lot I'm doing. So oh that's a little bit bigger than I wanted, but never mind. So yeah. So I want to I wanna see if I can do a little bit of a craft series just to show what you can do with your stuff um, and you can still have your bulk, bulk bide ready to go and I think this brad's going to be, I'll have to do the bigger brad which is fine, not a problem. These brads here are from the range and you get a um, big big pack it's 140 brads for 99p I think that's an excellent value and I do I am starting to use a lot of brads in my work now because I do think that they are you know they do finish a project I think especially like tags and stuff like that I'm just sticking this one down so you know that's a daisy Right, I'm just going to write on the back of this tag really quickly and all I'm just going to do is thank you for swapping. With my name. And then Divas. So they know which group it was from. there we go but link to divas will be underneath so if you wish to join you are more than welcome we are an international group uh, but we have a lot of uk at the moment with very few international 
we're trying to give international side up but um that is um but it's, it's, it's not going too badly we have a few internationals but a few more wouldn't hurt um so i'm just getting this and again i'm just using a stamping a punch just to do the flowers only because i used to be a demonstrator and i have obviously a lot of their punches still and i still use them even though they're retired no longer available um you know just everybody you know I, I like the fact that with um, Stamps of Life they do mix and match they get the design teams to mix and match new sets with old sets and I do quite like that because everybody has a mixture of stuff so I do quite like that right these are going to quickly get glued together it's really simple oops I'm quite busy on my messenger this morning so I'm just going to offset these just like so and then while they are drying I just want them just a little bit drier before I go on to the next step so I'm just going to put them to one side my tags to one side and then I'm going to get my little bags out and then I'm going to put these in here and I'm going to make sure I don't massively squash squash them and then I'm just going to scrunch up the packaging and then tie a bow around this and I'm still using the same colour ribbon as I did on the tags just to tie it all in and I think I'm going to leave it on the reel so it ends with like a little lollipop really I'm going to have it double knotted oops and then tie a bow that's how quick nice and neat I can do a bow on camera like everybody else as soon as the camera's on the bows go south just like that and I should still be able to put my tag underneath so that is how I'm presenting my ones now you can cut like the tail bit off if you wish and um, I'm going to leave that on because obviously my tails are quite long so that is one all ready to go and then we're just going to do the same with the other one there we go this one should fit there we go one just goes underneath I want the scruffle bit behind it I'm just going to bend that one into shape and then I'm just going to try and wrap it around while that is on there. And then I'm going to try and scoot it up. Obviously the ribbon's sliding the bag on this one because obviously this one a little bit bigger. I will win! In the end, there you go. I won bag and all. So you can sort out the ribbon in a minute in the bag. I think. I think I have enough of the tail underneath here for one anyway. 
bit of the other one is going to be up there which is fine I can deal with that and then I can just cut the tails off make it look a little bit prettier there we go so that is the other bag and then bring back the tags and flowers and literally I'm just going to squish the flowers up I've only got one of each you don't need much more if you want to put three there then you can do I'm just going to have two, I think, and then I'm going to have my glue ready and I've got this white trim from Aliexpress and they're like little leaves so I'm just going to add these leaves in as well. I can't remember which vendor I got my leaves from. Oops, Daisy. There we go. So I'm just going to get my grab my glue and squeeze them out when it comes down. I'm just using normal PBA. It just holds holds everything nicely. I'm just going to get my leaves and just place them around. Then I'm just going to get my flowers and place them there. Oops, a little bit higher. Just have one. I might just have one flower there actually. I'm just popping a little ge um, gem. And there's a nice easy tag. You can add more to tags if you want to. Um, I think. I might actually do that. I might. Um, I've got some sequins somewhere. I don't know. I might just leave it as is, really. Have them nice and simple. Both flowers won't go to waste. Um, I'm just trying to think if sequins will work on here. Um, got a little tube here. I'm just going to cut off the top. I'm not going to use the pink, but I can use the blue and the silver. Oh, blue and white. I do have a pickup tool somewhere. Actually, I'm just going to put them down there. Put a few more out. And then over here. Excuse my head. This is not a proper pickup tool, but it does. It does the job. And then I'm just going to literally 
scatter these about and then just add some glue to the very tip so I can pick them up without picking up any of um, the pink ones these like little copper ones might go as well oh, there we go just adds a little bit of bling can't remember where I can't see where I put the dots on this one I'm sure I put one over there, but there we go. So I'm just going to try and get these back into the tube. Um, the best of my ability. So that is the tags done and we've signed them on the back and then we just have to try and get them through here should be able to no problem really there we go and then just tie it up a little bit of slack and then maybe do another bone no I'm just going to tighten a knot have a knot bow and then just cut off these bits here And then that is my how I'm going to be presenting my wands. So hopefully this video is not upside down because um, I'm trying out a new camera angle. If it is, I do apologise and it will be back to normal. Um, I was just trying to see if this was any better so you could see a little bit more of what I was doing instead of it being on the side there we go so there we go so that is my two ones done and ready to go for divas and um, yeah they're nice and packaged and hopefully they won't get too badly damaged in the post yeah so um, thank you for watching and um, we'll see you again very very soon okay bye now